I'm ending a long but fascinating day in Demona and the area around it in Eastern Negative. And it's another city and community where we're finding lots of opportunities to build partnerships to help advance common interests between the United States Embassy uh, and the people who live here. I was hosted by the mayor, uh, Benny Bitone, who's uh, very, very active. Uh, he's really uh, taken the city uh, to new heights of development. Uh, bringing in new businesses, building new neighborhoods, building this beautiful uh, new park, Ben Gurion, uh, for the citizens to enjoy. Uh, and he took me to a number of projects that are uh, of great interest to us. We visited the Appleman School, where the United States Embassy sponsors uh, English courses through our access program and a special program for higher level English students to teach them debating skills. Uh, and I had a chance to uh, meet with these students, uh, carry their Sefer Torah, it's a religious school. Uh, it's always inspiring for me to spend time uh, in a school with students who are studying English. Uh, the area around Demona is also an area where companies are uh, experimenting with new technologies and green energy. And I visited Brenmiller Energy, which has a unique and very innovative uh, solar energy technique uh, that allows them to store energy, uh, which then makes it available during times of uh, low sunlight but high energy demand uh, uh, later, and they can sell it back to the grid uh, during that time. Uh, a very innovative approach uh, and a company uh, that's uh, making strides uh, really globally uh, from this base here in Israel. I also visited a company called El Bad, which is about to open a new factory here. They make paper hygiene products. Uh, it's going to create new jobs here in uh, Demona. But this company also has factories in North Carolina and Kentucky. And so they are looking to expand their production in the United States uh, and their ability uh, to sell their products uh, at drugstores throughout the United States. Uh, it's a real win-win uh, for U.S.-Israeli economic engagement. And the Jewish federations of North America have a partnership with Demona where several smaller Jewish communities in the United States have pooled their resources to support after-school programs uh, in Demona so that kids at risk can get extra help with their homework, can get extra opportunities to learn to play music or do science lessons. Uh, and I got a chance to see those programs in action uh, at the Neve Amram School, and it was made me very proud uh, that American citizens who uh, simply want to support uh, educational opportunities for Israeli children have been able to make a difference that way. Hallelujah! 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 Good, very good. <laughs> My last stop was at the African Hebrew Israelite community here in Demona. Uh, this is a group of uh, African Americans who relocated uh, to Israel many decades ago. Uh, and have built uh, almost an urban kibbutz uh, here in Dimona, uh, a very self-sufficient uh, community, uh, very spiritual, uh, very health conscious, very or uh, focused on organic uh, agriculture uh, and, uh, uh, and making a positive contribution in the, in the broader community. Uh, that's, a, 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 an un, that's a unique feature of the uh, tapestry of Demona, which is a very diverse uh, city as it is, uh, and it was a special opportunity to connect with people uh, who have those American roots.